Uh, hello, it's a pleasure to welcome uh, Professor uh, Jayantan from Goa University. Professor Jayantan has been associated with uh, MTTS from uh, since 1998 98 as a resource person, and uh, it's a real pleasure to have you here. Welcome. Nice to meet you. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Uh, your first thoughts on uh, what MTTS has been able to achieve uh, at this juncture. It has just completed 25 years of its existence. What are your thoughts? See, when we were uh, in our uh, graduate days, or even postgraduate days, uh, we had this conventional learning of uh, uh, from the, from the teaching teacher souls. Right. And um, I, uh, we did not have opportunity to, to understand or uh, uh, look at mathematics in a, in, in a self-learning mode. Uh, what MTTS, as I understand, is to train you to learn mathematics yourself. Fantastic. Uh, there was a saying which uh, I got uh, cooperation. Hmm. Uh, it's easy to supply fish, but it's better to teach fishing. <laughs> uh, in the sense, you know, uh, if you can make somebody to learn himself or herself mathematics, that's much more than teaching mathematics. Correct. Somebody. So and I think that was the main motto I saw hmm. or I read hmm. uh, from what has been practiced in MTTS for over the last nearly 20, year, 20 years. I am part of it. Of, of which you yourself are a part right, of. Right. Yeah. So do you, yeah. uh, do you attribute this rather peculiar feature to its unique success? Has it been successful because it adopted this unconventional teaching pedagogical methodology? Uh, to some extent, yes. I mean, this uh, 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 those those who are part of the system, mm -hmm. I mean, the learners, mm -hmm. they also found that uh, they are at a much better and advantageous position when they get back to their own institutions. And yep. uh, they uh, they, hmm. they say that our way of thinking, our way of asking questions, there are many parameters. In right, that, I mean, right. One of them is what I said. Right. Has been quite different from the uh, other students. There's a overall di difference in their approach to mathematics when they turn back. This is their coming from their, you know, responses. Uh, I see. So you're saying that when people go back to their home institutions, they carry with them back a very valuable asset which is the ability to look at math from a wholly new pair of eyes, the ability to question oneself. Is yes, this, is yes, this, yes. And even many teachers themselves started saying, yes, one see a very, very different kind of person in, uh, in, the, mm -hmm. uh, in those students. And that was a great experience for us. That was a great, uh, you know, I see. Uh, what is that moment for us? Mm -hmm. A eureka moment for you. Right, right, right. right, right we should right. say that. Yes, yes. yes. Okay. Yes. And uh, and it also sometimes helps in our own teaching because mm -hmm. it's not that uh, you know, I mean, uh, it has been already there with us mm. because it's a teamwork. Right. We also discuss and uh, certainly a person like Omarishan, you know, mm. and uh, he has been on and off thinking of how to. Improve uh, this. Yeah, that was his his brainchild and his, hmm. uh, you know, hmm. and we have been uh, discussing these matters and then we op re I mean uh, evolve it year by year and probably you can say it's slightly experimented, looking at their opinions hmm. and then taking the valuable feedback. Right, right. That's that was very important because. Hmm. It evolved quite a lot, hmm. and in the process, we also got evolved. That's what I want. That to is say. the nice because thing. Yeah. The way I started, probably my career, hmm. probably is different from today. What I I hmm. practice hmm. Hmm. in our own hmm. institutes and here. Right. So I think it is. It's a. It's a two process way. where you give and you also receive. Yes, that's right. Yes. That's right. right. That's very important. That's very important. And uh, apart from the satisfaction that we see. They the, are gaining. The joy of learning that we the students have gained. That Absolutely. we also gain. Correct, correct. Yeah. That is the intangible and probably the real joy of teaching. Yes, right. The real joy right, of right, teaching. Right, right. Yeah. And uh, seeing university education 
over so many years and see it degenerate from one level to another. I mean, coming from a conventional centrally funded possibly or a state funded uh, state funded state university, funded university which is not probably very different from other state funded universities in, the, in the country it may not be it may, may not, not be. be we may not be from a very rural background but we still have a lot of people with yes. semi urban right very uh, and uh, not 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 very fluent in the english maybe language maybe second generation learners or correct. even first generation learners in some we cases. have in our correct right so, so on one hand, you see that conventional university pedagogy has failed to convey the magic and the charm of doing mathematics. And on the other hand, you have a one month magical experimental program that people want to attend at any cost. They're getting recommendations and they're asking people to nominate them and push them into this program. Do you see that the dichotomy here is very stark, Professor Jayantan? And, uh, and, and I, why what I, stops Indian universities from adopting this? I, I don't say that uh, they have failed completely. I would not put it that harsh. Hmm. Somehow people could not, uh, you know, one has to put a conscious effort to understand it. Hmm. It's not that the old teachers all failed or, I mean, uh, then I won't be there. Absolutely. So, I mean, but I had very good teachers, there's no doubt. Right. See, the point here is, uh, with with a different kind of training, I can't say that uh, where I would have been, a lot of people have been motivated to take up on higher education, which never happened, probably might not have happened otherwise. That's mm. what uh, it is, it, because they are unable to see the, the way mathematics should have been seen. Mm. The, the inherent capability to actually see and uh, enjoy mathematics, mathematics, perceive mathematics and do mathematics, enjoy it. Mm might not have probably been uh, possibly practiced hmm. unless they were uh, you know shown a path where you can do you can see visualize and hmm. do mathematics and enjoy oneself without correct strain and that's hmm. probably the thing i don't uh, fully say that it uh, the system failed or anything hmm. no instead of saying that the system has failed could we rather say that the system has not been very receptive to experimentation because Professor Kumaration's courses have been very experimental in the sense having four instructors walking around in a class, getting to which university puts four, univers four lecturers in a classroom and for a month long period and which university allows that students will come and get trained and not be formally evaluated. Wasn't that a big and a major decision to take that we will teach them but we will not formally evaluate them. We will not give them a certain mark or a rank or a category and say that you are fit for this and you are not fit for this yeah yes you, what you said is correct i mean that's a it's a completely uh, different way of looking at but at the same time i do not know whether this is uh, uh, quite possible to be practiced in everyday university system it's not and it's not necessary i mean let's let's make understand that oh. this short time mm -hmm. you know it's it's that's why i said uh, rather than you, if you start f supplying fish to somebody, then lifetime you'll have to. <laughs> you teach him fishing in one hour if he learns it, then you are done. Yes, so therefore, that uh, uh, you know capsule hmm. or what I don't know whether it, I should put it that way. Hmm. Uh, that path, how to look at it, it it doesn't need that uh, long time. Maybe uh. one, I mean four weeks that we uh, that we show them, and they carry the message then they'll but, be on their own. But what a powerful thing you just said, Professor Jayanthan. You said that it takes such a short period of time to convey this so-called mantra, uh, which right. stays with them all their life. But unfortunately, three years of undergraduate education in a, in a, in a regular course in a conventional university, we are not able to teach them what this program has managed to teach them in just one intense month. That's right. That, that In that sense, I do is it agree. not a failure? Yes, that's, that part I do agree because no one would have thought about it. I mean, today, probably some of our own students, our own, uh, I should say, alumni, hmm. are making attempt to, hmm. you know, is practice uh, this at least for a week or a couple of weeks and try to tell the students how to look at mathematics, how to, uh, you know, learn oneself. Correct. 
and uh, prove oneself a theorem. I mean, this is uh, yeah, something as a, as a graduate student, I never thought I would prove a theorem. I mean, <laughs> anyway, it's something like that. Right. I mean, it is somebody uh, very uh, mechanically, you know, tell and write a proof. Probably you understand the technicalities, what he writes. And beyond that, we never think. Whereas in, in, in MTTS, we say you yourself ask questions, you yourself try to find answer, you yourself write it. So it's you, you who can do the mathematics, nothing special to anybody else. Anybody can do mathematics. So, this is the message that we try to, I mean, at least we attempt to convey. Yeah. To, the to in, in some sense, um, to uh, kind of uh, summarize what uh, Professor Kumaration has done, he has taught his students how to learn something. Exactly. Yes. I and, think, I think and, that's right. And not be afraid to make mistakes. Yes, that's one of the one of the things. One that, of the key things that. Yes, uh, yes. And if uh, you are not willing to fall, you will never walk. He keep telling. Absolutely. Keeps telling that. Absolutely. Yes. And uh, considering the crucial role that scientific education has uh, to play in our society, especially in the coming years, especially when you look at the huge amount of uh, both advantages and disadvantages that are facing this country, you have a demographic advantage where you're home to the world's largest youth population. At the same time, you know, we may not it's have a drink. Also. Uh, at the same time, exactly, it's a challenge in the sense that we may not have enough drinking water for all these young people yes. and for all of us, yes. right? And at some point of time, probably our scientific way of thinking may actually help get us out of this imminent future problem. In, in this scenario, can Professor Kumaration's brainchild actually offer us hope for both undergraduate and graduate education? Yes, if implemented if, if, yes, in all, yes. all, all spheres. and implemented. The, the idea is uh, very, very, very nice. Mm -hmm. Absolutely great. Mm. Uh, it may not even be, you know, confined to mathematics. Exactly. You know, in other exactly. Part, parts of science. Right. There are, there are now other programs which in sister su subjects uh, like Statistics, physics and physics, statistics they all started right, right. on this line of late I, right so, right so that that itself says yes it's been time tested i would say because a whole generation of uh, alumni have been now have in, no established in in, uh, in various institutes of this country correct uh, correct, so correct at all levels so right so is, uh, uh, there is some correct. merit in saying that uh, uh, imitation is possibly the best form of flattery that the fact that you have uh, <laughs> physics, uh, correct, 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 uh, correct, and, uh, correct, statistics, uh, following yes, mathematics yes. is in some sense proof that Professor Kumaration got the formula right. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Yeah. At least uh, we we knew it earlier. Yeah. Probably no, no, no everyone else is it. Yes, recognizing that. Absolutely, absolutely. Also, yes, absolutely. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you're you have you have known Professor Kumaration for a long time, and yeah, uh, at this juncture, 90s, early nineties, early nineties. Yeah, yeah, so. Yes. What is it that you want to tell him? Because a crucial uh, change in the uh, leadership which will take this program forward is also imminent, considering that people are retired and you know, or at the faggot of their careers. So, where is the next batch of MTTS leaders coming from? Are the alumni the only place where this will be chosen from, or will you look wider and? choose to uh, involve I think a lot he is more very people. conscious about it hmm. he is also hmm. uh, I understand that he is uh, trying to you know put forth the system put forth the system hmm. and try to make sure there will be some people who are going to take care this is what uh, I hmm. read from his uh, general hmm. you know, hmm. he he doesn't confine everything to himself no hmm. it's quite open You're wonderful and probably I can say he trains even that <laughs> to get some people who are going to take care of the future of MTTS. That's yes. what I I read from the way he functions. Wonderful. So there, I, I don't have any doubt about that part. Wonderful. Uh, MTTS yes. will be uh, taken care of by him, well, in spite of him being there or not. Wonderful. I'm very sure. Absolutely. Uh, Absolutely. I mean, as long as he is there, there's nothing one Correct. needs to worry. But Correct. I think before he say enough, uh, he'll he'll ensure the, that the transition will be smooth. Yes, yes. He'll then. ensure that there will be some competent people young enough to carry it uh, forward. For the next I'm very sure about it. Yes. Sure. yes. On that uh, happy note, uh, it's been a pleasure talking to you, Professor Jayanthi. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you very, you very much. much. Yes. Thanks. Thanks.